Hello, my name is Mark Hamill. You might recognize me from the Star Wars films. I'm just kidding. It's actually me, Garrett, and I want to show you how I've been using Adobe's Character Animator. Now, when I first saw this software, I thought it was complete trash. This comes across like some gimmicky little software package that's mostly just a tech demo and wouldn't really be used for any serious animation. However, the latest version has a lot of interesting tools, and I've been having a lot of fun with it. So check this shit out. I've drawn this Luke character in Photoshop, and I've been able to animate a little bit of hair and the eyebrows, and I've created a series of mouth shapes. The way this works is, as long as you have everything set up in Photoshop according to very specific folder names, then Character Animator will interpret these and put them into trigger states that can be activated when you know you do different things with your face. Now, this isn't a fully morphing animation. You know, it's not really looking for what your mouth is doing and trying to warp a mesh. That would be cool. This is just a series of phonemes. Let's see, I got a an uh, mm, s, and I found that the best way to animate these is to use the puppet warp tool. And I have one frame per each, but you can actually put in multiple frames to really get that stretching effect. And then the software just automatically interprets whatever audio you upload, and it tries to match your phonemes with what you're saying. Now, it's not perfectly accurate, and with my voice it doesn't work very well because I have a lot of vocal fry, and it gets confused, uh, unfortunately. But here's a random clip of a Mark Hamill soundbite. So let's just see what we got here. I told Ryan, I fundamentally disagree with virtually everything you've decided about my character. Ryan, I told Ryan. So once we have the audio recorded, we can add another layer to this where we track the head movement and I animate the eyes. You know, I really want to capture in the eyebrows the sadness and disappointment that Mark Hamill felt with this film. So the cool thing is it's easy to quickly animate things based on what I'm doing with my eyebrows and I have the eyes mapped to the arrow keys. It doesn't really work tracking my eyes. It doesn't, it doesn't look realistic. And I wish there were more tools that were manual because the automated tools don't work the way I want them to. So I'd almost rather just do everything the old fashioned way. Let's just try this out. I told Ryan, I fundamentally disagree with virtually everything you've decided about my character. Yeah, it's not bad. And I'm thinking I could use this software to quickly make some crude animation. Think of maybe the old South Park episodes or some of the old Adult Swim cartoons. I really like that stuff. And I think this could be a good tool because I've been looking for a way to combine my comics and videos. And I'm going to see what I can do with this. Thanks for watching. And uh, if you already own this uh, Creative Cloud software package, you might want to check out Character Animator. Otherwise, it, it's not really worth it, in my opinion. But the technology is pretty cool, and hey, maybe next year they'll come out with some more advanced features. I'd love to see more morphing of the face. I want to see, you know, that tracking of, you know, what, what the face is doing and have it just deform a sort of mesh that's overlaid on a still image. I think that would be really cool. And then you could do a more naturalistic performance because right now it's it's tracking what my face is doing but it's not really translating in a real way. The eyelids are just not even set up like a human's. They just sort of go like this. In fact, you'll see that the way that I set this up is I put a series of bones around the eye. And so these are all locked down and then the bit in the iris is actually deforming that part of the image. And I don't think the software was intended to be used this way, but it's a better effect than having a separate layer for the eyes.
But anyways, now I'm getting into some technical shit I didn't mean to get into, so let's just leave it there for now. And if I can make something cool with this, I'll share it. <laughs>